Welcome back to TV5 News at 9. We are celebrating Black History this month. And today we are featuring a local children's author making a huge difference in the community. Joining us this morning is Latasha Perry. Thank you so much for being here, Latasha. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so happy to be here. You are welcome. Okay, so you are a local author. You've written a series of books aimed at really empowering children. Now tell us a little bit about that. Why is it so important to you to do that with children? You know, um, I, as a mom of yeah. five, five and a half kids, <laughs> it's, you know, searching for books that have important messages in them such as uh, self-love and mm -hmm. celebrating diversity it wasn't always as easy as it's becoming more easier today um, my oldest is 18 now and so in the beginning um, when he was little searching for books that around that time you, you, you they were far few and in between and so um, it wasn't really until I had my oldest daughter who's 10 now that I really felt the need that um, complaining about it wasn't enough that I was ready just to, to do something about it because if I had these same concerns I knew other parents did as well. And I like it that Latasha that you've written books that children can say look at the books and say you know this character is like me you know this mm -hmm. is something they can relate to your character so tell me about the Like Mind series. So um, it, there, it's a six book series I never intended it for, for it to be um, <laughs> six books you know I like I said my daughter was 10 she was in a ballet class she was teased about her hair mm -hmm. um, her hair was in two afro puffs and uh, a little girl told her that her hair looked funny and so rather than run away from the situation I thought okay this is a teachable moment yes. for everybody right. involved and so that was just the birth of hair like mine and I love that you used it as a teachable moment. So how, has, how have your books, you know, helped your children, and even those that you've, you've, you've known to read your books? How, how have they helped? You know, it's so funny because we, you know, most of us, we set out with one goal. Yes. And, and that's what I did. I, I had one goal in mind, to empower kids that look like mine and to empower my daughter. And it just took off on a whole nother level, m much more than I ever expected. Right. I've had moms and dads from um, all walks of life, all different cultural backgrounds come and say, hey, I read Hair Like Mine to my uh, daughter, Hair Like Mine to even my son, and I love the message inside that teaches kids to just be comfortable being themselves. So I set out with um, a mission to empower uh, black kids, but this was much bigger than that, and this is just a book to empower kids in general, just to um, encourage them to feel comfortable in their own skin. Well, Latasha, you know I have to ask you, what do your kids think about them? Oh my gosh, they, you know, for one, they are the um, inspiration yes. behind the illustrations in the book. So they love it and they love the fact that uh, we're out at the farmer's market or different <laughs> places and people will recognize us and, and they're like, Mom, you're a celebrity. I'm like, no, I'm not a celebrity. But so they just love it and, and they love when I can come to their classrooms and read uh, to their, to the, uh, their class and um, so they're always like can you come to my class and read my book so they, they love it they love it and I love it too because you know I have two little ones and it's so important for our kids to learn that reading is essential it's so important like they say reading is really fundamental put the yeah. TV down, turn that off, and get a book. That's right. And that's, that's so important. My <laughs> shirt says, reading is my superpower. I love and it. And that's what I've been trying to teach kids, just with empowering them, but also just encouraging, like you said, put the electronics down and pick up a book. I love it. Okay, so tell us how people can get your book. So you can get the books in several different ways. Uh, they, they are selling inside of Barnes & Noble stores. Great. Um, Amazon, Walmart. Target, and then I have a website, which is the number four, www.4kidslikemine.com. Well, Tasha, I love it that you're from Flint as well, so you are a local young lady. We love you. I am. We appreciate Yay. you. Congratulations for Thank all your you success. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Thank you for stopping in today. We appreciate it. Yes, thanks for having me. Of course. And again, also more information about these books, it's in the hot link section of WNEM.com.